Hi Grade 1, welcome to week 2 of your recorder. So last week we went through Grade 4 and for the next few weeks we're just going to keep progressing and things are going to get slightly harder. So we have something over here called our little tune and this is going to take us really well, it's going to prepare us really well for a full piece that you're going to play over the next two weeks that's going to have multiple lines, more than just one line. So this will help us get started. And before we start playing the notes, let's first look at these three things we have here. So you, you already know this one, this squiggly line that is called the treble clef or the G clef. Why is it called the G clef? Because it circles that G line. So that's how you'll always know that this second line is G. So that one you already know, so that's not a big deal. Now this thing over here, what on earth is that? Some of you might say, hey, that's what I usually see on Twitter or on my mom's or dad's phone, just somewhere right at the bottom right hand screen. But in music, this hashtag is called a sharp. Say it with me, a sharp. Just like a needle is sharp, and just like someone who gets good marks in school is sharp. So we call this a sharp in music. And how it works is, the line that it's over now becomes that sharp. So for example, if this this hashtag is on the fifth line, which is every good boy deserves Fanta. So now that F will be, now become F sharp. That's all you have to know. So that means anytime we play an F in this piece, we play F sharp. But you don't have to worry about that now because we haven't yet gotten to F sharp on the recorder. But this, eventually, we will get to that. And now this 4-4, four, four, we might have already heard it before. What it means is that there are four beats in every bar. All right. So when you see 4 over 4, we just say, hey, this music piece is in 4-4, four, 4-4. Four. Four, four. And what that means, 4 beats in every bar. So we can try and do a little bit of maths, just so we can get a very basic kindergarten maths. So we said, this quarter note is 1 beat, this quarter note is 1 beat, this half note is 2 beats. So what's 1 plus 1 plus 2? 72? What? No, yeah, it's 4, exactly. 1, 2, 3, 4. Same thing here. 1 beat plus 1 beat plus 2 beats is 4 beats. 1 beat plus 1 beat plus 1 beat plus 1 beat is 4 beats. And last thing over here in this last bar, 1 beat plus 1 beat plus 2 beats is 4 beats. So everywhere we have 4 beats and then a bar. 4 beats and then a bar, 4 beats and then a bar, 4 beats and then a bar. That's why we have this 4-4, four, four, which means 4 beats in every bar. Sometimes you'll come across where it's 3-4, meaning you have 3 beats in every bar. But that, it, it doesn't get really complicated, it's just, it's something that you eventually get better in understanding the more we practice it. Alright, so we have our treble clef or our G clef, circling the G line. We have this hashtag on the F line showing that F becomes a sharp, and we have these 4-4, four, four, saying we have 4 beats in every bar. Alright, so let's play some music. Before we ever play any, any piece of music, the first thing we do is we clap out the rhythm. So let's try this. This is ta, 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 ah. Let's clap that out. Ta, 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 ah. Now notice that's the exact same thing that's over here. So. You try to clap it out. The second bar. Three, go. Ta, 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 ah. Easy stuff. Let's try to put those two together. Three, go. Ta, 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 ah. Ta, 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 ah. Super easy. Now let's try this third bar. This is the only one that's different from this bar, this bar, and this bar. Because even the fourth bar is the same as these first two. So in this third bar, we have four quarter notes. So that's how, what do we say for that? Ta, 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 ta. Say it with me. Go. Ta, 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 ta. And let's finish it off here. This is exactly the same as those first two bars. So, ta, 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 by yourself. All right, let's try to put the entire thing together. Make sure you're clapping it out and you're saying it out loud, okay? One, two, three, go! All right, 
So, once you've got that rhythm really well done, let's now get the notes. Now this piece is actually pretty easy, because in the first bar, in the second bar, and in the fourth bar, the notes are exactly the same. So what note is on the third line? Let's check it out. Every good boy, so that's a B. Then in the second space, F, A. That's an A note. And then in the third line, I mean second line, sorry, this is a G note. It's on the same line as that, as the line that G clef is circling. So G, but the G we hold it for, two beats. And that's the same in the second bar. G, A, B. Fourth bar, G, A, B. So let's try to play these two bars together. G, A, B. G, A, B. Let's go. Grab your recorders, hold it well, and let's go. One, two, Oh, sorry, it's B A G, not G A B. Oh, almost fell for that. So B A G B A G. Okay, so let's go for it. Three, two, one, go. Again, from the top, let's go. space is always a A, then back to G. So only two notes. G, G, A, G. So G, G, A, G. We're just going up and coming back down. So let's try that together. Three, go. One more time. And then the last bar is exactly the same as the first two bars. So let's try that. B, A, G. Three, go. try to put the entire thing together, play it with me the first time, and the second time I'm gonna let you play it for yourself. So let's go for it, for our little tune. One, two, three, go. Now it is your turn, go! One more time, Garrity. One, two, three, by yourself. Perfect. So, if you can play this without any problems whatsoever, you'll be ready for, to tackle the first half of the full piece that we're going to be looking at from now until the end of term. And it's not hard as long as you pay attention to the rhythm and you pay attention to the notes. If you can do that while keeping it on beat all the time, that's what makes you a good musician. So practice this hard. Don't just walk away from the video saying I've done music if you can't play it. If you can play it, then that's perfect. And I will see you next week. Bye for now and practice hard.